In this video we're going to cover the best types of subject lines for you to use. Now when it comes to email marketing your subject lines are very very important because it doesn't matter how good the offer is that you present in your email, doesn't matter how good your copy is or how good your call to action is, you are not going to make any money and your results will be very poor if your subject lines are not good enough because everything stems from your subject lines and that's why it's so important now what I've done I've created five different tips that I'm going to walk you through which will help you to improve your email marketing when it comes to your subject lines and just explain to you the psychology behind how a good subject line works now the first tip is to create curiosity in your subject lines. Now at the subject line stage you do not want to give people too much information. This is the stage where you kind of give people a little bit of a teaser just to get people to open your email. If you give people too much information at this stage then they will have absolutely no need to open your email. So you need to understand that your subject line should only tease people and just make people want to read more okay you can't give people the full story in the subject line because they will, there will be no need for them to open the email to find out more and this is why if you use something that spikes their curiosity in the subject line that is how you're going to get higher open rates because curiosity is a very strong human emotion and people will often click through just to find out what you're talking about so if you make your subject lines curious okay make people want to find out more you don't have to create every single subject line with the curiosity technique in mind but just make sure that you include this in your marketing because it's very powerful and it definitely helps your open rates so that's the first tip so create some curiosity when you create new subject lines tip number two is you must identify your lists hot buttons okay your hot buttons by that I mean every list that you create there's going to be particular subjects and particular topics that they really like to speak about and they really like to talk about and they want more information on so this is something that only you can really decide and a lot of it comes down to when you do your testing when you send emails out and broadcasts out pay attention to your open rates both on your broadcasts and your follow-up messages and over time you may see you may start to see some trends and particular subject lines always get a higher open rate so this is how you can identify your list hot buttons by paying attention to your broadcasts over time your follow-ups and this isn't something that you can find out overnight it's just going to be something that you find out over time but it's very powerful because you can then find out what your list likes what they respond better to and then you can perhaps use some of those ideas within future subject lines to get a higher open rate so your hot buttons are very important so make sure that you use those in your campaigns tip number three is to include something that spikes or to include something which is fairly strange bizarre weird or quite funny basically any of those and it's going to spike some curiosity again which I covered in tip number one but anything that's quite strange quite bizarre weird or funny then people want to find out more okay you don't make your subject lines boring you have to make them so that people want to open your emails to find out more so what you can do is obviously still keep all of your subject lines still to do with your niche to do with your market but at the same time you can include a little bit of weirdness in there 
um, perhaps includes uh, you know anything that sounds quite strange quite bizarre in the subject lines and again people get a little bit curious and they want to open the email so those four things there will definitely help you to get more or get higher open rates now tip number four is something that often gets overlooked which is to include everyday things that people can relate to in your subject line uh, this doesn't always have to be to do with your actual niche this could be to do with like family things anything uh, babies anything like that things that people can actually you know every single person can relate to and these you know, this is a very powerful tactic alone now I'm not going to go into too much detail on this but kind of just use your imagination you know just think of things that people that everyone can relate to you know anything to do with families children anything like that um, basically anything that nearly every single person can relate to and if you use that in your subject lines kind of use that in combination with everything else that I've shown you so far and you will start to see high open rates because the thing is people can relate to personal kind of experiences um, they can relate to family family situations and family problems and, and anything like that so if you can create some type of subject line which relates to any of that as well as perhaps includes some of the tips that I've given you in the previous three tips then you will see higher open rates now tip number five this is the last tip is be a little bit different and forget hype and doing the same as what most other people do this applies in any single niche and any single industry that you work in okay this isn't just the internet marketing niche because that's one of my niches uh, that's one of my main niches but this applies to any niche and any industry just forget hype and be a little bit different and just create some subject lines which perhaps most people wouldn't use you know if you're a little bit different then you stand out okay if you just be the same as everyone else then you're just gonna blend into the background and people are just gonna forget about you for instance if you were in the internet marketing niche um, some of the most popular subject lines okay, people use big figures um, for instance uh, this guy made six thousand seven hundred and twenty nine dollars and sixty six cents in three hours find out how kind of subject line okay people don't want to hear all this all this crap okay that's not really the sort of thing that you want to use that's if you were in the internet marketing niche any other niche again the same principle applies don't use hype don't use all of that crap just be a bit different and don't do things the same as most other people and especially most other marketers out there because uh, most people with email marketing they do things completely the wrong way and if you can just take one tip from everything that I've given you throughout this video and that is to be different and to make sure that your email subject lines stand out from everyone else and be different okay be creative and especially forget any of the hype so those five tips the first one is create some curiosity because that will definitely open your uh, that will definitely help your open rates <clears throat> tip number two is identify your lists hot buttons that is very powerful because that is definitely going to help you to get higher open rates again this may take you a little bit of time but this is something that you can work on over over weeks and months as you build your lists tip three was create some strange bizarre weird and funny type of headlines they work really well tip for everyday stuff that people can relate to okay families children anything like that and the last tip tip five was be different forget the hype and don't do the same as everyone else and try and be different to what most other people do and if you do this then you will stand out and people will start to enjoy your emails and as soon as you email 
people then they are going to want to open your emails to find out more so those are the five tips definitely start to use those within your email campaigns and you will see a very big difference in your open rates